as I continue to go down the dark crevices, we're going to see a woman who has a problem with a man eating a McDonald's meal. Baby girl, you should... Nah, let me not go there. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> it's none of your business. I'm eating my lunch. That's a happy meal. Yeah, I'm not very happy now. Thank you. What's your point? Why, sorry, why are you getting a kid's meal? It's the cheapest thing on the menu, but it's not really any of your business, is it? I'm trying Where's to have my your, lunch. I'm sorry, where are your children? Who said this is for children? That's a happy sorry, meal. I just now, I know you're already step. wondering why in the F is this woman even pushing it that way? Well, let me tell you, okay? She, because <laughs> it's hard to know if you don't really look into the video, but I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you. This woman thinks that he is a uh, um, a pedo, if you would say. She has a problem with him ordering a kid's meal because she thinks he's a hazard to kids. So keep all that in mind as this video continues. And, and what's wrong with that? But where have you put the kids? What do you mean where have I put the kids? It's for me. Where's your car? What, what kind of question is this? Why are you asking me a million questions? So, so what have I done to you? What have I actually done to you? Look, this, uh, I just find it a little bit suspicious that you've gone into McDonald's and have a kid. You find it suspicious I've gone to McDonald's to buy a Happy Meal? Yeah. And I don't have a kid? Do How was that any of your business? What's what papers? Who reads the papers? It's 2024. Okay, do you not read the papers online? Okay, but what we can't what read online. That is weird island. And you see, now it's gone downhill from there. See, we were kind of understanding, but she went to weird island. <laughs> she said there's a weird island with kids. Let's take a step back. You're talking about Epstein's Island? Yeah, yeah. What's that got to do with my Happy Meal? He might have a Happy Meal now. You're not stopping him. Yeah, he's working. I'm working for myself and I'm hungry and you're disturbing my lunch. I'm sorry, I'm, but that ain't a lunch. Because I'm having a... Ma'am. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you this, but somebody's got to tell you. I just talked about white knighting, and I'm not going to white knight for you, ma'am. Yeah, I got to say it. Okay, if you're going to be critical of a man who's trying to eat a Happy Meal and say something that fucking rude, I have to say something. Ma'am, you shouldn't worry, be worried about anything. Maybe you should eat more Happy Meals. Ma'am, maybe you should start eating the lesser portions. Ma'am, maybe you shouldn't be getting two number ones, three number twos, a McNugget, also with the McFlurry. And an ice cream cone. Maybe you should just get the normal, regular cheeseburger with small fries and a drink. Maybe you should get a Happy Meal and play with the toys. Okay? So you're going to have to play with yourself when you go home alone tonight. See, because I don't take kindly to people who start accusing people of being a pedo. Especially when a man hasn't done anything wrong. If he's giving you evidence that he's doing that, that is fine. But when you accuse men of such sickness, it can ruin a man's life. And I don't play kindly to that stuff, ma'am. So if you continue on, which you are going to, trust me, these uh, words that are coming out of my mouth are only going to get worse. Because I can't stand you women. Especially big old Betsy's walking around talking about eating a Happy Meal. Don't you worry about Happy Meals, ma'am. Don't you worry about them. Okay, why are you at McDonald's in the first place? You shouldn't be at McDonald's doing anything. You should honestly be at McSalads, okay? That's where you should be, okay? Eating lettuce and water. Okay? That's where you should be doing right now. Instead of worrying about a man eating a Happy Meal. Summer's neighborhood watch it. That's what we're there for. That's, no, no, look, look. What are you talking about? Why, why, why can't I have a happy meal? Happy meals for children and just seeing where the children are. Listen, not that it's any of your business, but this is all I can afford. Yeah, it's the cheapest thing in the menu. I need a we full meal. Because there's a saver menu and it's 99 pence. Is that right? Yes, this is right. Well, this is what I wanted. I chose what menu do you eat off of, ma'am? Do you eat off the 99 cent menu or do you get the number one that goes for six ninety five? And they get two number threes with a McChicken and McFlurry and an ice cream cone, like I said earlier. Is that what you go for, ma'am? Huh? Or maybe you should start wearing... Who's to have this? What, the little toy? Maybe I got a book. 
Maybe I've got a book. A book? Maybe I've got a book. Right. Yeah. And that's your excuse, is it? It's not an excuse, it's my lunch. There's no excuse for having lunch. I can right. whatever I want. We'll be going in, we'll be looking at the cameras, or we'll be making a note of your car and seeing exactly where you're going and what you're doing. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Oh, and who are you here? She's literally saying that this man grabbed a Happy Meal so he can entice a child to take the meal. He'll be like, hey, Billy, here's the Happy Meal. Would you like to get in my car? You notice one thing I noticed on this lady? What is, the, what is one thing y'all notice? I don't see no ring on his finger. Ma'am, mind your own business, please. You're going to accuse this man of going out and... Oh, my gosh. With... Some people just want to be right so bad. They just want to be the next person to catch somebody. But I knew it was him. I knew he was going to go pick up little kids. I knew it was him. They would rather assume a person's evil than assume. I understand you want to protect people, but I don't know if you ever go so far to be like, hey, this man is sitting here eating a Happy Meal. And you know what? He must be ready to go take up, pick up some kids. Now you can see. She says, I'm with Neighborhood Watch. Neighbor, neighborhood. <laughs> neighborhood. I'm so, and who are you here with? I'm in Neighborhood Watch. Yeah? You just left your kids inside there to come and complain Instead about of watching Neighborhood, maybe you should watch your way. How about that? Watch the scale and then watch the amount of calories you put in your body instead of watching TV, okay? And watching the Cheetos go down with your Sprite. How about you watch those things and not the neighborhood, baby? Unless, as a matter of fact, if you do watch the neighborhood, do it while you're walking. I mean, McDonald's. I can see Oh, she got kids. Single baby mama. Up, oh, that's all I need to hear. No ring, got kids. <laughs> oh, that's about right. That is about right, fellas. So you see, gentlemen, <laughs> your boy's always right. She ain't got no kids. I mean, she ain't got no ring on that finger. Baby mama, big as a house. We know. Are you crazy? Yeah, she crazy. I swear, to you, your kids were crying in there when I was. I was. I was, I was waiting for this about five minutes. Get your eyes off the kids. I'm trying to have my eyes on my. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. This so is ridiculous. Get your eyes off my happy meal and let me be happy. Eat my meal in peace. Are you feel and you filming me as well. Obviously, I need to get the evidence. You're crazy. See, see, if anybody walks up on me like that, ma'am, next time you walk up on me like that. I know you know a lot about these, okay? I'm going to hit you with a two-piece combo, and then I'm going to go to the truck and grab the biscuit. You don't want that, ma'am, okay? I know you like that, but trust me, the, the combo I'm about to give you in this biscuit is something you're not going to enjoy. If you run up on me one more time with that camera in my face accusing me of something that can ruin my life, do it again, you're going to get a two-piece combo, extra gravy. Evidence of what? A man trying to mind his own business and he's happy, though. It has made you unhappy. My happy meal has made you unhappy. Do you know how stupid that is? Don't just stand there and stare at me. Let me my See, I'm about to get cruel. If you do that to me, boy, I'm about to make this lady cry. I'm about to be, I'm about to get on your big body. Ooh, because I hate people who do this stuff, man. Listen, people have gotten on me too, boy. Please. Trust me, I've got that smoke show. I bet you are. Watch your calories, bitch. That's what I would have said right as she left. And I would have hope everybody heard me. So this is a great example of um, not how you treat people, okay? If you want to be safe for the kids, great. Don't run up on somebody. Because here's the thing, man. If he is one of those things that you say he is, let's say he is. That's a good way to get your head blown off your shoulders. I'm being dead serious. You don't walk up on somebody who is potentially dangerous and then start accusing them of dangerous acts because now they know that you're watching. So guess what? When they see you, they're going to get rid of you. You're going to disappear. That's going to be the last time you will ever run up on any of their people. Stay out of people's business in those situations, ma'am. Okay, catch them in the act. When you see something suspicious going on, you're like, oh, okay, I saw the man with the car. It's the, don't roll up on him. He hasn't done anything yet. This is not minority report. You can't start saying stuff before they actually happen, Okay. That's not how you do it. Have some respect for yourself. Have some respect for the man who has this. And have some respect for the hand gestures that I'm giving you right now. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Let me know what y'all think. You think this woman's crazy? I do. Absolutely. You don't run up on people. You don't call nobody anything. You don't accuse them of being a pedo. Because that's a good way to get your head knocked off your shoulders. Anyway, I'm going. Goodbye.